During our recent trip to Manhattan, our friend Miriam Berman, an architectural historian, took us to see the unique New York City park called the High Line. It's located on the southwestern end of Manhattan, and it's an adaptive reuse of an abandoned freight line that was built in the 1930s to separate freight traffic from street traffic. Before that time, the line ran along 10th Avenue, and it was called Death's Avenue due to the number of people killed by the freight trains mixing with the pedestrians and traffic. So they built this elevated line, and it it worked for quite a number of decades, but by the 1980s it was no longer used, and the conversation was on how to reuse the rail line or whether to tear it out. The discussion was much the same as we have here in Marin as a construction of the smart train as part of the reuse of the former rail right of way along 101. And down a little further, a fashion shoot was underway. As we were walking through the formerly decrepit meatpacking district, we saw that it's being revived and gentrified. There's an outdoor market called Urban Space Meatpacking, and it revitalizes the street life with music, food, and vendors who sell clothing, crafts, and food. There was good jazz the day that we were there. Then we rose up the stairs from Gansevoort Street to enter the elevated Woodland Park. Marin's put in a bike lane as part of the reuse plan. However, the transportation agency originally planned to have parks along the rail line, although this is yet to happen. So New York's imaginative solution has much to teach us about adaptive reuse. By the year 2003, New York conducted a design competition that attracted over 700 submissions for what to do with this elevated eyesore. They selected one design, found funding, and began to convert about two miles of the rail line into a park. They reconstructed the structure, uh, and then they built an accesses. Uh, over 200 species of plants and trees created an amazing linear park. The High Line Park isn't quite what some folks would have imagined when it was being created, because it's more than just a place to get away and enjoy nature. The High Line Park is a place to see people, to enjoy the views of New York, to hear music. It's a great place for people to congregate and enjoy each other. It's taken things to a whole new level, if you don't mind me saying so. And in fact, there is even Things that have been built over the top of it. It used to be that the trains went through to pick up and drop off freight from industrial sites, but the standard hotel is, goes right over the top and provides passageway, and this park continues right on through. And as you'll see, this theme has continued in a number of other places. It used to be freight trains would uh, pick up and drop off from warehouses and meatpacking plants here. But now it's a marketplace, it's a hotel, it's an educational institution. There's all kinds of layers here, and that's one of the most interesting things about this park.
One of the things that's amazing about New York is that here on the sun deck, you see people that are tightly packed together, but they're all in their own little private space. They're not feeling encroached upon. They're just there enjoying the sun. This guy was playing some nice drums. You got the water feature. And of course, everywhere you look, there's people taking pictures. They're taking pictures of each other. They're taking pictures of the view. They're just taking pictures. And here's some wonderful, nice, amazing music. It's really quite amazing to see all the different people, the different languages. The park goes on, and here's a mime. It almost feels funny talking, but he had everyone's attention. He had people giving him donations in his box, and the full attention to these children. They just couldn't take their eyes off him. I found him pretty amazing myself. As we continued on through the park, the views reach down to the street and engage you with what's going on at the street level as well. A lot of different kinds of plants. Now here's the 10th Avenue Square. It's got some art put on by the Friends of the High Line. That's a Chrysler painting. People get to gather here. You can see onto 10th Avenue and here's a spontaneous little bit of theater that's going on. People do entertain each other. And it's quite a nice little place to sit and reflect. And then up above, you see a little bit of jazz. Some folks then playing a little music further along. You'll see some folks getting a chance to just sit and talk with each other. The amazing architecture. It's a Frank Geary building there on the left. As we brought our short visit to an end, we climbed down these stairs at 20th, and you see this pickup truck, and nobody quite knew what it was. It's got this little brick thing in the back. People throw money at it. It's a piece of art commissioned by Friends of the High Line by a woman named Virginia Overton. It's called Untitled. And then you get down to the street level, and here's some more art from Friends of the High Line. This is a place for you to leave your, your hopes right here on the street in this little box. <laughs> 